Good morning. It's Wednesday, February 15th, 2023. This is your Georgia WeatherNet morning update, starting out with a few showers in northwest Georgia, north metro Atlanta, heading toward the mountains into Gainesville. And those showers are going to linger around for the next several hours. That's part of that uh, frontal system. It's kind of stalled out, waiting to be re-energized again. And it will with another frontal boundary moving our way. So we'll talk about that. Let's take a look at the temperatures. We can see there's an indication of another cold front moving in. Warmer temperatures up in the northwest part of the state compared to southeast Georgia. So we kind of have that inverted a little bit. Mid-50s in metro Atlanta, northwest Georgia. Then mid to upper 40s in parts of south Georgia. So the warmer air, always closer to the front. And that means we have a pretty strong one moving our direction. So we do have a level one out of five risk of severe weather for Atlanta down to Columbus. That's a darker shade of green and in northwest Georgia, Rome, Lafayette, Dalton, level two out of five risk of severe weather. And one thing I look at is do we have a level three or higher nearby? And we do in Alabama, part of that frontal boundary that covers Birmingham and Huntsville. So know the ingredients are there for strong to severe thunderstorms and they're going to be pushing into the state mainly by tomorrow evening, but we're going to watch it start to lose a lot of its energy. And we'll talk about that. Here's our uh, severe weather outlook for Friday. Just the general thunderstorm risk uh, stretching from Augusta down to Valdosta and along the Georgia coastline. So let's uh, time this thing out hour by hour. Looks like this. Those lingering showers continue in northwest Georgia over metro Atlanta, sliding down to the southeast just a bit. So a few light showers from LaGrange to Athens. But it's going to be a cloudy day with those scattered showers in the northern part of the state. A little more cloud cover in south Georgia today, but we're expecting a mix of sun and clouds, and those temperatures will be warming up across the state without any problem at all. This afternoon, lingering showers continue in north Georgia, and they just kind of slide to the north just a bit. Maybe a few thunderstorms in there over the north Georgia mountains by this evening, and the breeze also picking up around Rome and into uh, into Aragon and northwest Georgia. And then moving through the overnight hours, things are fairly quiet in southeast Georgia. Still that breeze picking up in the northern part of the state. And then that frontal boundary going to be pushing in those strong to severe thunderstorms possible by tomorrow evening in northwest Georgia. Now watch this just continue to sort of break up and fade out through the overnight hours. I do want you to be weather aware, even in metro Atlanta, Gainesville, Athens, Jefferson, just be on the lookout for that uh, thunder, those thunderstorms embedded here in this line through the overnight hours. And then starting out Friday morning, showers mainly stretching through middle Georgia, down in the southwest Georgia, and then moving out of here by tomorrow afternoon. That is cooler, drier air on the backside. Snow flurries up there in the uh, mountains of east Tennessee and western North Carolina. Not sure if they're going to make it to Georgia or not, but it will be breezy and cooler. And then Friday evening, also uh, looking like mainly clear skies. Then we head into the weekend. Looks great. High pressure will be locked in. And those temperatures will rebound fairly quickly as well. But it will be a cold one as we uh, get going through Friday night into Saturday morning. That's the latest update from the Georgia Weather Net. Now your local forecast from northwest Georgia to southeast Georgia.